Uh, he'll they'll definitely be relying on him to make movements, but I think uh, Rubik will also play a, a big part in this. I think the Night Stalker definitely has to work with the Rubik. Wise, just looking at the lane setups, I don't think one support alone is going to be enough. And it's really it's really hard to say whether or not. You know, I do so... have a quick emergency to deal with. So uh oh! I, I need to be right back for like thirty seconds. All right, go for it. Do your thing, man. I'll be able to watch this stuff as they come in, puppy. Getting a couple hits off. That's a lot of damage from that first Nether Blast. And, well, he's able to pick up a rune as well. So Secret get themselves three runes. And now Yapsor able to find that stun. Rolling forward. Found himself Illidan. First blood drawn by Fatas. They're going to keep on battling <laughs> underneath the creep wave. I think most of it is jungle, actually. I think uh, this matchup is a little better for the Venomancer from the uh, Radiant side. Because you're just right. right next to the two camps. As well as the bounty route, so not it's as like long as a trip. Compared to the Illidan dire. might go down. They do have another Nether Blast here, which they're going to throw out in just a second. They don't decide to do it. Roll. Uh, yep, sir. A little bit off the mark. Missing that one. Does have the damage and is quite going to get there. Illidan's going to fall. Oh, Fata picking hurts. it up. That was a mango use, too. Yeah, you can see Nikwad this time. He realizes just how bad the matchup is actually spends most of his time in the jungle. He's doing a good job in just making sure both of these camps are cleared every minute. And then he heads back to lane for just a little bit. Oh. And the Absor maybe getting a little bit too big for his britches. They're chasing. It's nighttime, and he is going to end up dying. We'll play he there. More, though. Chasing puppy right now. Yes, yeah, stick charges and a nightmare. They might be able to go for a deny here, or he can just walk away if Brain Sap is back up in time. I don't that think they can like go for this. Fine. He has seven wand charges. There's no way they go for this. But once it hits daytime again, I think that's pretty much when Secret are probably going to make the move to pressure towers. Mid one, dealing a bit of damage to the mid tower. Uh, 500, 500 points of damage. Oh, Another lane though. here. Yeah, they're going oh, yeah. on to him. And right click will be there to kill, almost kill him off. 4 HP actually. He's going to live there. Yeah, Absor. Still getting ran at. He doesn't have a roll for three more seconds. Can he get out of there? Hunter in the night. The damage. Do they have it? He doesn't have enough void. Not enough mana, but still finds that right click kill. And now a nightmare. Looks like Necro will also be able to live. So again, Night Stalker making the moves. Mid one out of lane, at least for a little while. So the Invoker getting his stuff done as well. Level 8 already, and looks like he's going to be going in for that urn build, which is another moment where you can get a lot done with that. Cold snap and ghost walking around, finding kills. Bottom lane, Pugna. Going to get found out there. He is in trouble and going to be brought down. Fought to killed off. This lane is just becoming a serious hazard for Secret. Yeah, Go jungle. Get your farm up. So, 11 minutes in. He's got the Midas. He's got the Arcane Boots. He's doing a very good job in keeping up his farm this time around. Uh, now Illidan may be in some trouble there. Do they have a way to break this? Trying to kill him, not going to happen though. And now nighttime yet again. STST going to live through those three impetus shots. While Invoker is going to move down, check for the rune, sees that it's not there. Now going to run into Bane. This could be bad. Nightmare? Nope. Okay. EMP Tornado. He doesn't have the combo anymore. Puppy taking some damage, going to end up going down. Can Yapsor find him? Looks like the answer is no. Almost getting that courier too. He's trying to find the courier right now. Oh. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. Two of them, in fact, can get on top of him with the cold snap there. They turn now onto the Pugna. Silence comes out though from Yapsor. Does end up losing Fata. So again, SFT finding the initiation. They've been able to run into Ace now. Can they kill him off as well? Looks like with the tornado, nice tornado connects onto Yapsor as well. And Nikwa going to drop the ulti as well. Ace still living through all of that. He just has so much freaking magic resistance with that cloak as well as the natural heal that's coming through. And He's so tanky. Look at him. Pretty much unkillable. He has his drums now as well. He's going to be moving very quickly. Puppy? Uh, he sleeps himself. Now takes the tornado jump oh, in. Big magnetize combo. onto four. Can he get a second round of it going? He ends up dropping it again. Only reapplies onto two and might be able to get another really reapplication here. onto three again. So eight so far as Illidan also going to get ran down. Do they have another reflection here? They can use it in just a second if they want, but decide to back out as Fata takes down Thompson. Rubik, perhaps? Doesn't have the slow for another three seconds, though. But I think... Uh-oh. The rest of the team is here, though. This is a bait. 
Oh, can they get it? Mid one, walking forward. They get the silence right at the start. Cold snap there as well. Nowhere to go. Mid one, going down. And maybe so too will be Ace. They have another void in one second. There yeah, it is when they come he's back down. There's, he's not done. <laughs> he's going to pop the hood. Yep, so they get a big old ulti off as well, but there's the Fiend's Grip. They take down yet another, and now starting to fall is going to be Puppy, but there is a ton of damage being dealt out. Uh, Earth Spirit, unfortunately, he already ends up going down, and now Fata trying to turn this, see if he can take down the Volker. The sticks are going to keep him alive, as Ace still stay alive as well. You mentioned he's not going down. He's still 17 wand charges. Nikwa, maybe not fully understanding the depth of his despair, as it's going to end up being Ace. Maybe falling here as well. They kill off the Pugna. He's going to end up dying. They chase for more. Ace is taking a lot of freaking damage here. Oh, they're getting, they might get him this time for real. Oh, oh the block! Nice walk the block on the ward. It's not going to happen, though. He's still living. I think. Yeah, he's, he has a heal. He's got he a heal now. Heal. Yeah, I think this is fine. He, a lot of the team's uh, AoE as well as control, so... Oh, mid lane. Find uh, Fata. Good decrep right there. Keeping their buddy alive, but Fata is not going to be able to live through all of that, and... Well, mid well, one shows though. up. All right, big jump in there. And, oh, the tornado interruption, though. Nikwa's going to end up dying. But that also meant that they didn't get the ulti off onto them from that one, so... Pascu? Oh, they guessed wrong. Mid one, now in a little bit of trouble. Deafening Blast as well. It's a long duration disarm. With all those points up in Quas, and Well, now also going to be able to try and bring down Illini. He's got a ton of heals that's coming in, but will eventually fall. So final tally ends up being two for three. With Team Secret coming out on the top. Try to take a cheap pad instead. It looks like they're going for Mass Midas as well as we see a pickoff there. Yapsor. Just going to take off the Rubik. Rubik in the river. Trying to invade. That, that was their smoke. Well, so. Rubik killed. for a smoke, not that bad. Oh, wait. Opsin, he finds a courier kill. Okay. Oh, they found a nice doctor though. Dequa goes in. Oh my god, you're not even going to kill off Fata, he's going to live, and then all the turnaround, excuse me, he does end up going down, but, well, Tornado EMP combo, this might be enough if Ace can do enough damage. It's looking like everybody is dying from SFT. I thought there was a chance, but it was never going to be enough. It's just, it's so risky, especially since the Rubik ended up going down, so they're basically fighting that 4v5, and... I'm sure they realize that Terrorblade still has the Aegis, so top regardless of how well they initiate it, it's still going to be a difficult fight. Look at Puppy. He's not caring about anything. They don't have Fiend Script right now, though, so he might be biting off more than he can chew. We'll see him just die? That was a little bit odd, but it ends up being worth it since they take down the Rubik. I, I, mean, I don't think he was expecting that much damage. He's definitely just trying to bait. Our smoke. Puppy is smoke. Well, it's Yapsword. Trying to find something, gonna have his smoke broken. Everything now. Oh, the decrep on the siege creeps. That way Enchantress can come and take it. And now the siege with the Aether Lens begins. There is also look at, look at how many catapults he has. The ward down. That is a lot of freaking catapults. Alright, brain sap there as well. Send them up high ground. They don't want to give these away. They're valuable resources, but they are starting to take a bit of damage. Dylan's <laughs> gonna be run back. Oh, mid one goes in, BKB pop, just gonna destroy that Rubik, gone in an instant, and also turning his attention now off to the side, mid one, does still have Sunder, turns oh, nice it around thunder. onto Nikwa, he's gonna end up falling as well, they're all taking a ton of damage, but they do manage to actually get that Shrine off, so they're gonna live for the moment. Still a lot of damage there, Sunstrike off the mark, they do still kill off Fata, Nico with a double so far, can they roll away from here and stay alive? No pipe as of yet. Mid one not wanting to die here. They do have a TP boots. Thompson manning up against mid one. Is he going to die? They do find that kill, but so too will die the invoker. Ace trying to get himself more. out of there. He has stick charges still. Equal has a blink. Oh. oh, he cancels the regen as well. Is he going to catch him? He does Ew. have a roll oh, away up nail. to the high ground. There's the shrine. Might need to pop it there to help out his team. And Ace walks inside the Roche pit to see his quarry has ran away. Smoke up. Was not scouted. That is a five-man smoke, but Secret look like they have an inkling that something could be going on. Bane heading east. 
Stopping for the moment, does still have a Force Staff, and they are going to find him. Force Staff to the high ground, pops the Shrine. Rest yeah, of his teammates showing up. That is going to be the jump board. They find the kill, but simultaneously it's a Magnetize. On to two, Silence on to three. Can they kill him off? Reapplication of Magnetize. This time connects on to three of them. Sunstrike's going to be there, but a little bit off the mark. Nikwa dropping as well. They found themselves the Rubik. He has nowhere left to go. The smoke does not end the way that they hoped it would. Three are dead. And sadly, no yeah. chat wheel was heard that day. Maybe even yep. see some clutch uh, life stream saves. Oh, Necro. He's oh, no. Yeah, that ward. They must have spotted him out or just thought that. Yeah, it's easy peasy pickings. And now They're Seeker. Go they got a mid. Do they have TPs? TP in the backpack of Night Stalker. And Rubik uh -oh. does have one. Invoker is going to get caught here. Oh, this the kickback really that caught him. This is really, really bad. They're just going to connect, and, well, he's going to end up dying. So no Invoker, no Necro. They do a buyback on Invoker. And they're going to be forced to use it now. All right, mid one. Mask of Madness pop turning his sights now onto these barracks. And Rubik ends up stealing Metamorphosis. The jump forward BKB pop turn to fight. Just going to completely destroy Pexu. He actually doesn't end up dying. They decide they want to take down this Venomancer instead. He'd already used his ultimate mid one. Let's start to be taking that DOT after taking down the melee barracks. Can they get here? It's not the fastest in the world. They have these illusions that are moving up this way. Thompson. He's got EMP and Tornado together to throw it on out. Connects now onto one, but there's going to be the catch. The roll through with the boulder. Can they get him? They have Magnetize as well. Oh, there's a big old Magnetize. And the damage coming as well from Fata. He's out of mana right now, so no more life drains, actually. That EMP Tornado was pretty good, but, but they I just have too much too net late. worth. Yeah. It is? That was just really? like a guess, though. So. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Reflection out, mid one BKB pop, still there with the Aegis. They are going to not oh. get him. All right, that's a nightmare. <laughs> oh, then here comes the life drain. Oh no, and then the turnaround again with the Sunder. He has so many lives. Mid one. Hey, this, this doesn't even really matter. He he just he really doesn't care at this point. He still has Lincolns as well as Aegis. He just wants to throw away oh. his life at this point. Yeah, and he might end up doing it, but I mean, for what? It doesn't even really matter. Nice little wraparound there, dodge from Peksu, but now that Diffusal Blade is there as well, they're going to take him down. They are diving base. Don't even care about the Tier 3 tower, which hasn't been taken yet. Uh, SDX actually has taken down Yapsor as mid one turns the sights to the bottom racks, but this is looking like, again, a secret victory, unless something really magical happens here from SFT. I don't think we'll be seeing that. There's no buybacks on anyone, and... Mid one is still in the base, just hammering your towers, racks. Yeah. Still has BKB as well, so there's really no way you're going to kill him. Yeah. Four staff from his allies helping him out a little bit there. They catch out Illidan, Diffusal Blade, just inside Passes range. Up. And finally the BKB. They turn now as well on Thompson or the Night Stalker, whoever he wants to. Somebody is dying, that is for damn sure. They have Sunder again. 25 oh, talent. It's going to be back up. Maybe. Nice four staffs. Yep, and he's got Sunder again in three seconds, so it kind of doesn't even end up mattering. Waiting to get it set oh. up. Now the Necro <laughs> going to be in trouble. Forced back. Sunstrike connects onto Ace to no avail. This is going to be Megas if they want it, but it looks like Secret just going to back out. Game. <laughs> yeah. That's just kind of how far ahead Secret are. They have all the items to turn things around as well. Look at look at Ace. He's got a casual moon shard in his inventory as well. That thick attack speed. Let's see how fast he goes with this one. Oh, lots of damage being dealt. The fiend script on to Voker, and he is going to die. Just oh, maybe not. They're getting a little bit greedy there. I don't think those were impetus shots coming out from Ace during that. So, well, Sunder stolen to heal back up the Invoker. Okay, cute. But now mid one's shown up. He's got BKB still, so he doesn't care. Oh, God. The reflection comes through. There's the turnaround. They're going to be able to kill them all off. Nikwa's going to end up falling. He pops the ultimate. It is not going to really matter, though. They turn onto the buildings. And with Mega Creeps, with a 30,000 gold lead, good game is going to be called. And Secret going to finish this one off 2-0. It was a much better attempt this time. The early game actually wasn't that bad for uh, SFT, but... A couple of misplays here and there. I think uh, overall, Secret just coming out ahead. Probably just more experience when...